Hey y'all, Echo Slash here, and this is going to be episode 4 of Pony Species Opinions and Theories. And yes, I'm doing another one again this recently. Usually I do these like once every two weeks or three weeks, but I'm doing it again as a little, I guess, special uh, for tomorrow's episode. The day of recording this video, uh, tomorrow is the season premiere of season 7, so... Uh, just a quick reminder of those who forgot. I, I'm sure not. I don't think any Brony forgot because I didn't. Because I've been hyped for this for a long time, and I can't wait till tomorrow's episode. So, anyways, today we're gonna talk about alicorns. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about unicorns. Today we're gonna talk about alicorns. Oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully this video does not get backlash. I mean, I will be actually be serious about this because I know some people who talk about alicorns are probably not so serious, but I'm gonna be serious on this one. So, uh, what are alicorns to me? I think alicorns symbolizes loyalty, in my opinion, because every princess is an alicorn, at least an alicorn that we know of, and Flurry Heart. It's got to be probably the new princess of something, you know. And to me, all that represents, you know, royalty. So, yeah. And as an OC standpoint, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of Alicorn OCs. Now, I don't think Aim Brony is an Alicorn fan, but, however, if you have a killer background story of your Alicorn OC. If you have a great background story for your Alicorn OC, then I will not mind. Because I legitimately seen great Alicorn OCs out there. There are actually pretty good Alicorn OCs out there. There are some that are not so great. But there are some that's like, okay, actually I think this person deserves to be Alicorn just to think of that story. You know? I mean, in my opinion, I think the people who made the show and be a part of the show and the, the show members who are involved with the fan, I think they deserve to be Alicorns because they're just part of the show. But also, the pe the Bronies and Pegasus who m made a great story about their Alicorn OCs, and I seen a couple of them before. I seen a couple of great stories about. It. I was like, you know what? I'll make that as an exception for them. Uh, I seen, and also I seen good looking Alcoroses out there too. I mean, there are a lot of cool looking ones too. So there are actually people who really put a good thought about the Alcoroses. So it's not. It's just the people who most of the people that make Alcoroses make them look bad. You know, because of Mary Sue and whatnot. And that's really why I'm not really a fan of Alicorns, because they're just a Mary Sue of a bunch, you know? So, yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just the only thing, you know? It's just, and that's the main reason why people hate Alicorns, is just a Mary Sue logo right on their forehead, you know? You know, and everyone complains, just be one, be one of them, or have two OCs that one of them is a unicorn, one is a pegasus, you know, if you want to fly and have magic, but, you know, again, I'll make that exception, though, if you have a killer background story, by all means, go nuts with your Alcorn OC, because I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that story, but if you don't have a killer background story, then, yeah, then there's, like, a small issue when it comes to Alcorn OCs right there, but again, not every Alcorn OCs are bad. Not every one of them. It's just, in my opinion, the majority of Alcorn's OCs are bad. But the, but there are some in there that are actually really, really good and have a good background story. And whatnot, like either they were born as an Alcorn or they're just blessed to be Alcorn. Like either blessed with wings or best blessed with a horn, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things, and it's like, if you got a good story, I don't mind. So that's that's, that's the end result of that, of Bronies having Alicorn OCs. But to me, Alicorns in general, I think it represents royalty. You know, it represents something important. You know what I mean? Powerful. Now, I'm not going to see them 
I'm not gonna see Alcorns as gods, you, you know. I mean, to me, they're not gods. You know, they're just royalty. You know, I don't believe a Cel Celestia is a god. I don't believe Luna is a god or anything. You know, I mean, if there were gods or whatnot, they would not have a weakness. But unfortunately, all the Alcorns have a weakness. All ponies have a weakness. So, they're not a god. So, to me, in my opinion, Alcorns are not gods or anything. They're just royalty. And that's why I got put as right there. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I and mean, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the Alcorns. I mean, uh, <laughs> again, OC wise, if you have a killer backstory, go nuts. And again, Alcorns, in my opinion, represents royalty. Like something important, you know, king, queen important. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see y'all next time.